more recently that the United Kingdom is getting a premium live event, formerly known as a pay-per-view, uh, for the first time in 30 years, for the first time since SummerSlam 92. They're going to be going, WWE is going to be going to the Cardiff Principality Stadium on Saturday, September 3rd, 2022, for an event to be named. It's not SummerSlam. Um, it's not the Royal Rumble. We don't know what this event is going to be called. They have not named it, but we just know that the date is there. It was one of the dates for their for their schedule this year. And there's still, there, there's no idea what the name right. is, but it's happening. Right. I got it. I got it. It's the Great American Bash. <laughs> <laughs> one just to fuck with AEW. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. Just because we go to Europe and it's as much of American Bash. <laughs> Uh, you can't call it Bash at the Beach. It's in the UK and it's in the Cardiff. Um... <laughs> bash at the Rocky Beach. <laughs> bash at the Canal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Fred said it could be Night of Champions. It could, I, it could be Night of Champions. Night of Champions you know, cool. I've actually known about this for like six months. Um, so the other podcast I listened to because he's in England and he just knew. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he mentioned what the show was, but I forget what it was. Night of Champions, for, for some reason, sounds familiar. Night of Champions would be, would be a good one to have him come back. I mean... Yeah, it's, I mean, I, if some sort of gimmick pay-per-view, sure. Or, honestly, I think they should name it something completely original. Yeah, I mean, you can't... Like, like, like Crown Jewel. Oh, uh, uh, nope, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some, some related to the Queen, like the, um... Um... Wait, what, what, what is it? It's in Cardiff, you said? It's in Cardiff, Wales, yeah. It's in Wales. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Fred said, call it SummerSlam Backlash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, where's my applause Uh, Actually, it could it great. could be King of the Ring. King of the Ring would be a good one too, Mister Fred. King of the Ring would be a good one. You know what? Fuck yeah, that'd be a great one. Yeah, King of the Ring in the UK, it writes itself, really. It does. It does. And I'm happy for them. I mean, because the, the other times at WWE or NXT in its uh, in its semi original format, when they went to the UK, those in NXT UK in general, those crowds are amazing. Yeah, the crowds are the best because <laughs> usually right after Mania they do the UK tour. Yes. And it's like the worst wrestling, but the best crowd. Because <laughs> everybody's it's, tired. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's it's just like the, the the. Could you imagine doing that WrestleMania schedule, that WrestleMania fucking build, and all that press? Yeah. Just to fly to the UK for like two weeks to do more press and more wrestling. <laughs> it's like, dude. Fuck you, Vince. But <laughs> goddamn, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yo, you know they're making a Vince McMahon documentary. Yes. Um. I did know that. Is that for A&E? I, I, I don't know, but like, yeah, that's why Vince wrestled at WrestleMania, because it's like the end of his documentary. Oh, is it really? Well, we'll talk about mm -hmm. that, and what a moment that was with Vince. Uh, so, 